Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a waiting list for any site that you're building in tools such as Lovable. So at the moment I've got my website here and I want to add uh, a waiting list kind of function. So I want to say like join the waiting list, have an email input box, and then I'm going to be able to store those emails in some sort of database so that in the future I can send emails to my potential customers to let them know that the product has been launched. So the first thing I need to do, I need to change this so I can create, turn this get in touch section into a join the waiting list section. So let's do that. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say to lovable in chat mode change the get in touch section to uh, join the waitlist section add a single email input field and add relevant copy so Lobo generated a detailed plan, broke it down to several steps. And then simply all you have to do is click on this button, implement the plan, and Lobo will implement the plan for you. And it seems like it's finished now as well. So let's go check out this section. And as you can see, perfect. Join the waitlist. Beautiful, relevant copy. Nice looking waitlist. Yep. A bit of social proof there as well. Simply enter the email and then you join the waitlist. Okay, so the next step now is to integrate something that will allow us to capture emails and add them to a some sort of database to make a waiting list. So the tool we're going to use for that is a tool called make.com. So we're on make.com and you greet with this page here. You simply just go to login or get started. I already have an account, so I just click on login. And then very simply, what you want to do, you want to come down to scenarios and you want to click on create new scenario. I already created one just in case, so I'll delete this one. And then this, it has some templates that you can use as well if you want to. So if you don't want to start from scratch, you can use templates. So that's what we're going to do actually. We're going to go to templates. And we're going to store all of our emails in a simple Google Sheets document. So we're going to have a Google Sheets document with the emails and then any other relevant data that we need. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to add webhook data to Google Sheet. So what a webhook is, is a little like address that you can put into a form submission input box and then the information of that input field will be sent to make and you can do whatever you want with that information essentially. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on add webhook data to Google Sheet. And since we don't really need this, create a new scenario from a template. And you create with this, you have webhooks here, you have Google Sheet. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a webhook. I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to call it my app's name, so Tem Pelix. We'll put Tem Pelix waiting list. Simple as that. And we're going to click on save. And then we can copy this address to clipboard. Click on save. So the next thing we're going to do is set up my Google Sheets. So you have to go into Google Sheets and just set up a simple document with emails, timestamp, and source as the three columns. Go back to make and then connect your Google account right here. So once you've connected your Google account, you can be created with this. And simply all you need to do is choose your spreadsheet from the drop down here. I've chosen mine. And then if you're using multiple sheets, make sure you choose the right sheet. But if you start on a fresh one, obviously it'll be sheet one. 
And then for now, we're just going to click on save. And then what we're going to do, I copied this before, just going to copy it again. I'm going to go to Lovable, and I'm going to say, send the email info from the join wait list box to this web hook and I'm going to paste the web hook there and send so simply what we're going to do now we're going to run it once to see if it works make sure that this is turned on immediately as data arrives I'm going to click on run once I'm going to go back to our lovable site we're going to use a test email just to test it out Get a nice confirmation here. I'm going to go back to make. I'm going to open Google Sheets. And what we actually need to do, we need to add these different inputs. So we've got email, we got timestamp in timestamp, we've got source in source. Then we can click on save. So we're going to run it again. We're going to type in the test email again. Got it. It's received. And as you can see, it's been passed perfectly. We got our three columns. We got our information, the email, we've got the timestamp, the time that I put the email in, we've got the source waitlist. Okay guys, that was a quick tutorial on how you can create a simple waitlist function using your Vibe Coded or Lovable site. So today we just built this quick section by prompting and asking Lovable to create it for us. We used Make to create a webhook to Google Sheets. And then when we run it, it was passed and sorted out correctly into the three separate columns, emails, timestamp, and source. So guys, thank you guys for watching. And as you can see, I'm actually building out a prompt and template directory. Hopefully I'll be able to share that soon with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, if you learned something new, I'd appreciate if you left a like. Subscribe if you want more lovable content, if you want more make content, if you want more vibe goody content. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below anything you want to see, any queries, any questions you have, I'll always answer them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.